Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to Poetry Moment. I'll be reading a poem by L.D. Green, pretty appropriate for this Halloween season. The poem is called Mistrust. I was out in the rain while you were in making out. Too true was the naked sight of you as you screwed, as the two of you screwed very hard. You bumped my things with bucks, you two ucks. Reminding me that mistrust's love is lust. Mistrust's love is lust. I am mistrust and my love is lust. Mistrust's love is lust. Just when you trust, you can't. No, you can't. So until death do we part, honey, please pass the ham. I was there the same as you. We were all dressed up. I was in a suit, side by side in the church. Didn't you listen to the words? Those words were called wedding vows, and nowhere did they say you could sleep around and the other would not be hurt if they were not around. So what do you mean calm down? What do you mean calm down? What do you mean? What do you mean? Pausing for a moment, this poem is obviously about a married couple. Um, the, the strangest line for me here is, is honey, please pass the ham. It sort of sets the scene that there's all this drama and yet the two of them are sitting down together for dinner. I was out in the rain while you were in making out. Too true was the naked sight of you as you screwed, as the two of you screwed. Very hard, you bumped my things with bucks, you two ox. Reminding me that mistrust's love is lust. Mistrust's love is lust. I am mistrust, and my love is lust. Mistrust's love is lust. The words said, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, not till death do we part. Not till death do we part. Just when you trust, you can't. No, you can't. So until death do we part. Honey, please pass the ham. So what do you mean, calm down? What do you mean, calm down? What do you mean, what do you mean? What do you mean, put the gun down? What do you mean, put the gun down? What do you mean, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean, put the gun down? What do you mean, put the gun down? What do you mean, what do you mean? This is why I say this is appropriate for a Halloween poem. It's hurt and anger quickly turns to homicidal rage and the, the amount of repetition, I think, you know, illuminates the, the state of mind of the, of the writer just stuck and saying the same thing over again and seemingly unaware of, of their own um, actions.